Hello everyone, welcome back to A Little Something Vintage. I'm Marilyn, and today again we have a book haul, this time with Little Golden Books, which are children's books. Um, the first one we have up is Toodle by Gertrude Crampton. Uh, the illustrations are by uh, Tabor Gurgley, and there's a copyright in this book of 1945. Of course, it was probably printed after that. We can tell, um, you know, by the sequence in here, and plus there's a barcode on the front cover, so... Um, you can see there's some stating on the top and bottom corners of the pages, some signs of wear and tear on the cover boards, no visible marginalia in there, um, some rubbing off of the black on the spine here, um, some wear and tear on the covers. Uh, then we have the three bears. There's no author listed, but the illustrations are by Fedor Rozhenkovsky. Um, copyright is 1948 and renewed in 1976. It's a billion golden memory sticker, or there is one on the front. Um, partial price sticker. There's a little bit of remnants on the cover. Uh, no visible staining. Uh, some of the plaque on the golden spine is partially rubbed off on this, but as you'll see as I'm flipping through, no visible marginalia here in this book either. It's in pretty good shape, actually. The next book uh, we have coming up here is We Help Daddy by Minnie Stein, illustrated by Eloise Wilkin, copyright of 1962, uh, renewed it says, but with no date. Uh, this book has small piece of the back cover uh, backing up in the corner missing. Uh, there's some small page creasing in top corners. Uh, there's a price sticker still on the front cover, some missing or torn pieces um, in the gold spine as well. Um, so there's there's definitely a little bit wrong with this one, but but all, overall, you, it's still readable um, and uh, it's still got life left in it for sure. The next one we have coming up here is... We Like Kindergarten by Claire Cassidy, and it's illustrated by Eloise Wilkin again, copyright of 1965 on this one. Uh, there are some remnants from a, a price sticker on the front cover in two different places. Um, inside pages, though, are in good shape, as you can see as I flip through, no marginalia. Um, there is a little bit of dirt on the back cover that you can see here, uh, but otherwise, a lot of life left in this one for sure. The next one that we have is The Jungle Book. Um, it's adapted from Rudyard Kipling. As you can see, we have two copies here. Uh, the copyright on these are 1967. Um, you can see here in this copy, um, I'll show you the, yeah, we go. Show you some of the pages in here. There's no marginalia or anything like that. Um, it's really um, in pretty good shape here. Um, let's see. Let's look through the second one here. Um, for the most part, the same here. Uh, same copyright date and all. Um, but for the most part, the book looks in good shape. Um, so this is a fun one right here. All right. The next one that we have up is The Pokey Little Puppy, it's, which is, of course, a classic golden book. It's by Jeanette Sebring Lowry, illustrated by Gustav Tenner. Ten Gurin. Uh, copyright is 1942 and it lists a renewed copyright of 1970. Uh, you can see there is some writing in the front cover here, but uh, no other tears or marginalia anywhere else in the book. Um, somewhere in tear to the print on the spine, but nothing too major. It, all in all, it's in pretty good shape. Next, we have The Saggy Baggy Elephant by K and B Jackson, illustrated by uh, Tengren. Uh, copyright is 1947, and that copyright is renewed in 1974. Uh, cover appears to have... Um, the, the cover sits a hair just shorter than the rest of the pages um, and the back cover, but otherwise there's no writing tears or creases throughout. Uh, it's in really very good condition. Uh, then we have Scuffy the Tugboat by Gertrude Crampton. Pictures by Tybor Gregor, or Gur Gurgly, excuse me. Uh, copyright is 1955, renewed in 1974. 
there is some rubbing off of the black on the spine, as I'm sure you saw kind of as I was flipping it over. And we'll see in just a moment while I show you that again. There's no writing, tears or creasing throughout the book. Uh, the bottom of the front cover has some scuffing. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. A little, little bit of dirt here or there, but it's still got a lot of life in it for sure. The next one is My Little Golden Book About God by Jane Werner Watson. It's illustrated by Eloise Wilkin again. Uh, copyright is 1975, uh, but the original, it appears, was 1956. Uh, it's in quite good condition, no writing, tears or creases throughout, but there are of course some small signs of wear as you can see here, um, particularly on the front of the spine. Then we have The Tawny Scrawny Lion by Katherine Jackson, illustrated by Gustav Tengeren. Uh, copyright is 1952 and was renewed in uh, 1980. There is some wear to the uh, black print of the sp spine. Um, there's no writing tears or creases though, but there is a slight orange stain slash tint inside the front cover and around the edges, some dirt on the cover pages too. Then we have The Story of Jonah, adapted from the Book of Jonah by Pamela Broughton. Uh, illustrated by Roberta Collier. Uh, 1986 is the copyright on this one. Uh, this one, though, you'll see when I flip through, there are heavy markings throughout, probably from a past child owner, I'm guessing. Uh, there are some remnants of a sticker still on the corner, uh, on the cover, excuse me. Um, some back from the spine, or some black, excuse me, from the spine is roughed, rubbed off on this one as well. So this one's probably the worst off of the bunch in terms of uh, what shape it's in. Uh, then we have the Saggy Baggy Elephant No Place for Me by Gina Ingoglia and illustrated by Richard Walls. 1989 is the copyright. There's um, no writing, bending, uh, tears throughout or anything like that. There is some dust discoloring on covers. Um, there is a proof of purchase sticker on the inside back cover as well. Otherwise, it's in fairly good shape. Um, back cover of this book has a different design than most golden book cover designs. So that's kind of cool. Next up um, in line here is Walt Disney's Pinocchio, uh, which is adapted by Eugene Bradley Coco, illustrated by Ron Diaz, copyright of 1990 on this one. Um, and as I flip through, you'll be able to see there's really no writing, tears, bends of pages throughout the book. Um, there is some wear around the edges of the covers. Some black is rubbed off the spine design, uh, but not too bad on that either. Then we have Walt Disney's classic 101 Dalmatians, adapted by Justine Corman, illustrated by Billy Langley and Ron Diaz, copyright 1981, and it looks like that's renewed since 1988. Uh, stickers uh, spelling Nicole inside that front cover, as I'm sure you saw, some minor bends increasing um, on the bottom corners of some pages, outer edge of the cover shows somewhere and scuffing. But Let a Life for sure. Uh, the Princess and the Pea Retold by Margot Lundell, illustrated by Nan Brooks, copyright of 1994 on this one. Uh, the front cover corner has a paper layer pulled back just really slightly, but nothing nothing too bad. Uh, no markings, creases, etc. throughout. There is some sticker residue on the front cover, I'm guessing from a past um, price tag. Then we have Baby Stays Out. This one's kind of unusual. It's based on the screenplay by John Hughes of the film that came out um, around the same time as this was published. The copyright on this book is 1984 for to 20th Century Fox. Uh, this is actually a pretty rare um, a little golden book, but it is in v pretty good condition throughout, uh, with the one exception of one very slight wrinkle to the bottom of the last page. Um, but other than that, it's in really quite good shape. And like I say, this one's a pretty rare one, actually. Then we have uh, Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, adapted by uh, Mary Packard, illustrated by Russell Hicks. No copyright date is listed, actually, on this one. Um, there's no writing markings, creases, or tears throughout. There is a small gouge in the back corner, or excuse me, in the back cover, and some sticker residue. Um, the front corners and edges of the cover do show some slight wear as well, but obviously a lot of life left in this one, just as many of the others. 
Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching this book haul. Uh, next week, we should be back with another video, but we will not be doing books this time. <laughs> um, so we do do a lot more than just books here at A Little Something Vintage. Um, but just so you know, you can shop all these items that you've just watched us show you today at our Etsy shop. Um, little something vintage .etsy .com is where you can find us you can also find us on social media uh, twitter and instagram included there and i can't wait to see you next time where we'll have something other than books to show you see you then bye